Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the kind of new Ariana Grande Cloud Intense and I'm gonna be comparing it to the original Cloud, which I also have. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos just like this. I also have an article that goes through all the different Ariana Grande perfumes, so I'll leave that link down below. And if you are a regular viewer, then do check to see if you're subscribed, turn on notifications, and don't forget that you can support me on my Kickstarter page to be one of the first people in the world to get the perfume that I am creating, my first fragrance, so if you want to get that then you need to make sure that you have pledged on the Kickstarter before it closes. And down below in the description box I'll of course leave the links to where you can get this though I don't think that Cloud Intense is available in Europe. I think it's just in America. So my wonderful friend Natasha actually brought this over from New York when she was over visiting. So thank you so much, shout out to Natasha and her mum for posting at me. Um, but of course the original Cloud is widely available. And I think for a celebrity fragrance, this has done so well. So often celebrity fragrances are totally dismissed for being cheap, tacky, the artist hasn't had much to do with them, you know, for whatever reason. I think Ariana Grande Cloud is a bestseller because it really lasts and it is a nice smell. Um, it's quite sweet, it's got this ombre musk and it's quite reminiscent of Maison Francis Kurt de Jean's Baccarat Rouge 540, longest perfume name ever, which is like 250 pounds and this is like 30 pounds. So I can see why it's done so well. It's the kind of scent you could sell for 250 pounds. So the other main note that's in here is a coconut, sort of whipped cream coconut. It is quite sweet, but in a quite a milky, warm way. Um, imagine just like a whipped cream, warm ombre musk type vibe. I think the bottle is super cute. It is of course very plasticky, but I love the lid. It comes out of its little case, so if you are traveling, I think it's quite handy to just have that. It lasts really well. Men tend to like this scent. I think it is quite a sexy scent. You could definitely wear it in the evening. It might be a little bit too sweet for like serious occasions like in the office, but you could wear it most places. And I think it's just great value for money. The gift sets are also quite cute. Um, there's lots of different ones and there are some with minis of this in. So if they're still around, I'll leave the links below. So Cloud Intense um, it came out before Christmas and um, for some reason it only seems to be in America maybe it will come to the UK at some point just like the thank you next 2.0 came out a few weeks ago here in the UK I do have a video on that by the way I'll leave it linked below so obviously you've got a darker colored cloud and then the bottle here is white and you've got transparent cloud lid whereas the original has blue now in terms of the fragrance it isn't that different to cloud it's not a whole new scent in the way that Thank You Next 2.0 is totally different to original Thank You Next. It's still very much all about the whipped cream, coconut, slightly musky, but what they've added in is a little bit of Ambroxan cashmere. So there's a more sort of creaminess to it, a more like the, the scent of skin type vibe. It's less sweet and more warm, but I would say it's 80% the same as cloud. I have not found that it's particularly stronger lasting. Even though it's called Cloud Intense, it isn't an intense perfume, it's just an eau de parfum, just like cloud is an eau de parfum. So I think it is a bit of a shame that it's just so different. I don't recommend buying it if you already have cloud. If you've had cloud and you fancy a slight difference, then you might as well try cloud 2.0, but cloud 2.0, cloud intense but personally I just don't think it was really necessary and I much prefer the cloud bottle to this dark blue because you know a cloud is white cloud isn't really blue 
and the lid being see-through means you don't really see the lid, whereas I love seeing the lid in the original. So for me, Cloud Intense is a little bit unnecessary. It's still nice, just as nice as the original. Um, and it definitely still is like Baccarat Rouge. They're also very similar to Burberry Her Eau de Parfum, but um, I know that there is the Baccarat Rouge extract um, in the darker red bottle. I wouldn't say that that is like the intense version of Cloud. I'd say they're both just like original Baccarat Rouge 540. But let me know what you think, guys. Do you think the new Cloud Intense is better, the same as the original Cloud, which do you prefer? Maybe it's just on me, they smell so similar. Let me know what you think and which bottles you prefer. I can also show you the boxes, which are also very similar. They've got the same picture on the back. It's just a darker blue, basically. So yeah, I feel like Cloud Intense was probably a little bit unnecessary. Um, and also God is a Woman, which came out after these, was also along a kind of similar line. So I'm not sure how necessary that was either. So I'm looking forward to see what the next one that comes out from her is. I'm sure there will be a next one to see if it is something a bit more different or if it's along this same line again of that musky, sweet whipped cream vibe. Um, but I do highly recommend Cloud. It's definitely Soki approved. Cloud 2.0, no different to Cloud for me. So I guess it's Soki approved, but you definitely don't need both. Cool, so that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.